The Weight of Water is a 2000 mystery thriller film based on Anita Shreve's 1997 novel The Weight of Water. Directed by Catherine Bigelow, the film stars Elizabeth Hurley, Catherine McCormack, Sean Penn, and Sarah Polly. The film was shot in Nova Scotia. Although it premiered at the 2000 Toronto International Film Festival, it was not released in the United States until November 1, 2002. In 1873, Karen Christensen and Anef Christensen, Norwegian immigrants, are murdered on Smutty Nose Island, a lonely island among the Isles of Shoals off the New Hampshire coast. Marin Onfet, also a Norwegian immigrant, survived the attack. Louis Wagner, who had once tried to seduce Marin, is convicted for the crime and ultimately dies on the gallows. In the present, Newspaper photographer Jean Janes begins researching the murders, and travels to Smutty Nose with her husband Thomas, an award-winning poet. They travel with Thomas's brother Rich, who owns a boat, and Rich's girlfriend Adeline. In a twist of fate, Jean discovers archived papers apparently written by Marin Onfet, and giving an account of her life on the island, and the murders. The plot unfolds the narrative of the papers and Onfet's testimony against Wagner that gets him hanged, while Jean privately struggles with jealousy as Adeline openly flirts with Thomas. Trying to suppress her fears of Adeline as a rival, Jean learns that Marin was brought from Norway to Smutty Nose by her husband, a man she has no passion for. Marin staves off melancholy and loneliness on the isolated island by keeping busy. Marin's spirits are lifted when her brother arrives on the island with his new wife, Aneth Christensen. But Marin must also contend with her own sister Karen, who is stern and suspicious. At first, Marin views Aneth as a rival for the affections of Marin's brother. Soon, however, she begins to nurse a desire for Aneth. On the night of the murders, with Marin's and Aneth's husbands away from the island, Marin draws close to Aneth, only to be caught by Karen. Marin's sister condemns her. In a fury of her own, Marin kills Karen and Aneth. The movie ends with Anfet trying to confess before he is hanged. The courts refuse to accept Marina's confession, and Wagner dies on the gallows. In the present, Rich's boat gets caught in a storm, and Jean finds the walls between the past and the present collide. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 35%, based on reviews from 65 critics. The site's critical summary reads, The story is too muddled to build any interest. On Metacritic, the film has a score of 45 out of 100, based on reviews from 22 critics. Critics felt that Bigelow had not achieved as much weight with the fictional story of the present against her portrayal of the events of the past. Stephen Holden of the New York Times said, There is so much to admire in The Weight of Water, Catherine Bigelow's churning screen adaptation of a novel by Anita Shreve, that when the movie finally collapses on itself late in the game. It leaves you in the frustrating position of having to pick up its scattered pieces and assemble them as best you can. Holden felt the two stories never mesh. Thanks for watching.